This is Captain Dan. We're setting up to anchor at Twin Harbors on the north shore of Santa Cruz Island. Twin Harbors lies between the popular anchorages of Fries and Prisoners. It's a great anchorage when the wind's out of the west or northwest, as the western wall keeps both wind and swell away from your boat. It's a pretty small spot. I really think only one decent sized yacht belongs in there. Take a look at the chart. We're going to be anchoring in the eastern anchorage. Uh, don't be tempted by the western. There is no room and it's open to wind and swell. It's 42 feet at the mouth of the harbor. It shallows out. In fact, there's a drying area about two thirds of the way back. Okay, we're going to start our approach in here now. Well, you know you've found uh, Twin Harbors when you see this arch rock. It's prominent from either the east or the west. We're coming in uh, on this one from the from the west. We'll pass it, and we're going to hook around and come into the anchorage from the other direction. We generally make our turn in here from the east, uh, staying downwind and hooking around upwind in the turn itself. It's fairly tight, but we turn our 46-foot Genoa around in here fairly easily. Avoid the wall to the left. There's kelp and some rocks. Okay, we're making our way in here. Now you can see the arch rock to the right there, and there's a crease just behind it. That's our ideal drop point for our bow hook. We continue in towards the center of the beach or slightly left, and then we swing around to the right, paralleling the wall, putting our bow out, and uh, about 100 feet off from that crease. We start motoring back slowly, paying out road as we go. Here's a view. And as you go back farther into the harbor, it narrows uh, down quite a bit. And you end up fairly close to both walls if you situ situate yourself properly. It's a beautiful spot. And in a low wind conditions like we enjoyed this day, it was very easy. Even in high winds, it gets calm back here. Now, I have made this error a couple of times, just getting in way too close to the western wall. When it remains calm, it's okay. If you find yourself in this position and the wind is coming up, uh, it might be a good idea to reposition. Ideally, you want to end up at the yellow thumbtack. If you drop your bow hook at the crease, motor on back, you can set yourself up right here. Or if you're watching this ashore and you've got any questions, call me at 805-750-7828 or take it or look at our website, sailchannelislands.com. I'll see you at the islands.